I believe we left off last time with assassins trying to like take us out. But then our Itami's like friend, his like um, older friend, is like becoming like prime minister of Japan maybe. And Roy Mercury is super down bad and is basically making a move on us. And it's been revealed that she can apparently transform like her, her appearance, even though her body has stopped aging. She can apparently like transform. I think that's implied. So I'm like, please, milf mercury instead of lolly mercury but uh she's trying to get on top of us right now let's begin today's reaction <laughs> don't say it like that don't say it. am i really a child you're gonna really start it like that don't say it like that the, the, the hands <laughs> say by the bell <laughs> it's a smartphone <laughs> <laughs> she she mad. <laughs> She's actually so fucking mad, dude. Holy shit! Yeah, this is this the FBI actually calling us? It's like, hey, hey, what are you doing there? What are you doing there, huh? Careful now. <laughs> Hell hath no fury like a woman blue balled. <laughs> Nani. <laughs> Not if she can do anything about it. Wait. Okay, purple lipstick's back. Is she pole dancing? Hold up. The the halberd is like stuck on the ground, but she's like, she's straight up pole dancing right now. She is. This is pole dancing. Hello. Hmm. What that tongue do? And now die. Despair and hope. The last thing you hear before dying is the laugh. Honestly, not a bad sound to hear. Oh, it's the sound check again. That's our Japanese force, right? Are we killing both? I can't really tell. It's too dark. I can't really tell what's going on. But both sides are shooting each other and Lolly Mercury is just killing everybody. Lolly attack, what do you even say? What do you say about this? Barefoot lolly. <laughs> oh shit. Itami feet, Itami feet, middle-aged man feet. CBP MSS. Russia, China, and America. So right... Oh, hello. What should we do? You're going to die now. Russia, America, and China all trying to kidnap our girls. And basically, they're all caught in crossfire. And Lolly Mercury is taking them out. Is what's happening. Just die. What you going to do? Just die. What would happen if she got hit by a bullet, actually? Hmm. Wonder if it would be lethal. Oh! Cut on the arm? Blame your shitty leaders for sending you here on a fucking suicide mission. This just stimulates Lolly Mercury even more and more, right? The more death, the more souls that goes, you know, through her. That's a nice little release. Oh, Chuka arrow. No heat sources. No heat sources from Lolly Mercury. So like, does that mean if you were to, if someone of age, how am I going to word this? Her body's cold. So would it be necrophilia? Like, 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 no, necrophilia means it's a, it's a corpse. Lolly Mercury's body's not a corpse, but there's no heat sense. There's no heat, right? That's what's implied here, right? No heat sources. We're locked down on Rory. We're looking for other corpses around. No heat sources. They're all dead. Rory Mercury also has no heat source. So it's like, just the carcass, the body, because she's a demigod. So like, if she got hit by bullets, what would happen? But yeah, it's going to be cold when you, uh, you know, it's going to be cold. Oh, 
ピニャ殿下とボーゼスさんも着替えて出発の準備をボーゼス承知したボーゼスボーゼスおーボーシガレシガレシガレどんなに傷を負っても Always regenerates アジンは死,死ねないの We can't die Does she seek death? Is it like I wish to know defeat kind of deal? I don't know Does she want like to be freed from this? I wonder あの旅館が防衛省共済組合の施設でよかったですよ。飛び込みで普通。大丈夫、全部。バッ。悪いけど降りてくれるかな。This <笑> Magic. Put him to sleep. I guess she knocked him out. Yeah, sleep magic. I guess she knocked other nations, you know, assets. They just want monopoly for themselves. The gate. Complicated. Yeah, what are you gonna say? <laughs> Wait, the, the car though. Look at the car. The car fucking jumped. Yo, Kuriba is she kind of wild in for this. Is she even allowed to do this? Look, she's a cute girl, so she's allowed to do this. But goddamn, putting Itami at gunpoint like this, this is like a fucking assassination attempt. No, she's sober. Alright, let's let's hear it, Pina. Graham. Wonder if he'll be an important character or not. America! Freedom! Democracy! Lele's first vending machine? Dude, the vending machine culture in Japan is cracked. They give you like hot foods, right? Like, vending machine food from Japan is straight up better than like food you can buy at some stores in like North America. We need to get better vending machines here, man. Who do I like the best? Uh, I understand the hype of Lolly Mercury. I truly do. In in terms of in terms of pure like sexual appeal, it's got to be Chuka because she's the only legal one. If Rory Mercury looked at, it was like had Chuka's like height and age and you know it looked like not like a lolly then i'd be like lolly mercury for sure but it's like it's a lolly territory so can't go there but in terms of personality i think like lele i don't know the uh, lele wearing a gas mask lele being so like curious and she's like a soft-spoken coup today i i i enjoy that a lot i don't know Okay. Elf based on looks. Personality. Lolly. What about Lele? Lele's not. So, Chuka takes sexual appeal. Personality. Goth Lolly. And Chuka's platinum blonde also then. So, it's double Chuka here. It's double Chuka and one, and one Lolly. And nothing for Lele. God damn. I like Boses though, actually. Between Boses and Boses and uh and uh Chuka, I I like Boses, bro. Boses. The wife really knows him the best, huh? <laughs> I don't think this is a sub error because she literally said platinum blonde, right? The Japanese pronunciation platinum blonde, like, come on. So either then then it's either Lele's hair is supposed to not be blue in the anime, or we're talking about Bozes or Chuka again. <laughs> Sweet red bean soup with mochi. I love red bean. I love red bean, bro. Dude, red bean bun is the fucking best. <laughs> Lolly Mercury's mad. Why are you so mad? Blame the fucking phone call. How to eat out of a can? You just drink it. It's a, it's a soft food. We went back to Tuka now. Sometimes it's Chuka. Sometimes it's Tuka. 
I don't fucking know. It's good as she eat. Yes, she could eat it. Kyo Kinko Nitanunda. The Doda Arisa. Hano Arga. Yeah, where Lolly called them idiots. Stupid. With all those people. Are we. Are we weaponizing and organizing a group of otaku right now? Is is that the implication here? Thank you. Twitter mob? Twitter mob? What a long night. Let's go back into the gate. Yeah. Surely it's not going to be that simple though, right? Motoi is Japanese PM. Resignation, okay. Our friend now gets in PM, right? Oh, oh. Who is this girl? Damn. Yeah, most people don't give a fuck about politics, bro. Uh, Nanami Kuribayashi. Kuribayashi! And also sister of Shino. Ah, uh, little sister? Big sister? Probably little sister, maybe? Try harder! Sussy. Familiar voice actor? I can't recognize who it is, though. This is our wee brigade, yeah? Yeah? Risa's work? Graham from America. Okay, this is the last hurdle. Before we go to the gate, Graham is the last boss. Graham looks a little rotund, but like... Look at that. Look, look bro. Look, bro's been actually kind of mewing. Like, how is this possible? He look... Like, if you look at his build, he, he kind of seems a little chubby. But like, his facial structure, like, it's pretty fucking cut. Like... <laughs> he's been mewing. Cut TV? And then we fly back home. Smoke bomb. Uh, panic, kidnap, run. This is our brigade. This is our brigade, right? Yeah, Reese's brigade. <laughs> they came from their mom's basements, bro. <laughs> Hmm? What? What you gonna do, Lolly Mercury? Is all the people that's gonna suddenly show up with cameras to take pictures of her, like, you know, the cosplay girls? Hello, you. She just gonna go solicit randoms in the crowd? Hmm, what's the game plan then? Maybe little sister Kuribayashi will help. Right. Because they love how she fucking called everyone out on TV. So the masses love her. They're already worshipping her. Like she's a fucking like oracle here too. Oh, she gets worshipped back in, you know, beyond the gate and in Japan. She's she truly just built for this. Look at bald, bald. Goodbye, ex-wife. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, uh, I learned how to do it. You can do it, don't worry about it. She straight up doesn't know how to drive? How often are we going to keep coming back? <laughs> right, she owes us debt. Bye bye, ex wife. She's still trying though, huh? Because, like, they want to, like, like, isn't the whole thing with Risa is, like, uh, their marriage failed because they started off with the wrong intentions and she wants to restart it, but now she's getting power crept by, like, fucking, you know, Roy Mercury, Lele, Chuka. Kill him! Shoot on sight! CGI crowd. All right, smoke bomb should be coming pretty soon from that uh, from the guy that muse. 
それを聞きつけたファンが駆けつけて銀座は現地での栗林さん Let's go 栗林さん You're live Honestly, I bet that if, like, if an actual news reporter was as cute as her and did this, where she's like, ah, e, you know, and, and start acting all like cute and like worried and scared, I bet that people would love her even more, like on air, because it's so real. You know what I mean? People like that shit. Even if you think it's clumsy, especially because she's cute, right? If a cute girl was a little bit clumsy like this on air like that, I guarantee you everyone would be like, oh my god, they, like, she would go viral on Twitter. <laughs> A lot of flowers. <laughs> Shoot on sight. Could you imagine she fucking pulled up a gun on her sister? <laughs> no, we're not allowed. What's up? She's gonna get fired for this. What the fuck? How are you? You're abusing live national TV news. I mean, like, hello, mom. Mom, I'm here. I'm coming back later. <laughs> She's gonna get fired. Are you sure you should be leaking this kind of information live on news? Wait. Whatever. She was kind of vague about it. This dude, wait, he broke his back last time, remember? Trying to pull up Lolly Mercury's weapon? Is he gonna clutch for us or what? Okay, okay, I see what he's doing. That fucking laugh, dude. He might have the best fucking laugh. Yeah, yeah, should you have leaked that? Like, could you actually say that shit live on TV? Like, oh, that country, that country, even fucking, you know, running away from them, like... That, that's like... Did could you actually just straight up throw shade at the American president? The Russian, the Chinese president? Just casually on TV? She did. International news. Bro, she just straight up just shit on them on TV, kind of, discreetly. <laughs> that works. So like, if the timing was not perfect, we could have potentially had to wait here for a fucking hour or Lolly Murky wouldn't have just left you. Like, no, a bell must be rang. Mm. Okay, the bell's important, symbolic. <gasps> What's going on? <laughs> they they cut that out of frame so quick. They cut this shit so fucking quick. All the CGI actors going like this. <laughs> they showed it for a split second. They're like, all right, spat out. Not a big deal. It's just funny to me. Woo, yeah, our heroes. Wow. Woo. Paid actors. Wonder if they all were just worshipping Lolly Mercury and wasn't as really cheering for the other girls. Alright, we're back. Beyond the gates. That's crazy. Before this, I was just gonna talk about how they're like, Oh, that was so fun! Yeah, I wanna go back! Oh, the shopping's so fun! But it's like the entire time, Yutami was just fucking suffering trying to protect these girls. Not that Lolly Mercury needs protection. Oh! New leggings for her? New outfit? <laughs> Yo, Lily got a laptop! Where's dad? Are we still gonna do the dad plot? Oh, fuck me. We still haven't crossed that bridge yet. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Is 
this is gonna hurt. When it, whenever that help, I I hope that shit's addressed in season two. Cause like honestly, I don't want to spend some time an episode with fucking confronting Chuka and her fucking delusions about the dead dad. That's gonna be so fucking sad. I hope that shit's season two material. God fucking damn it. You're gonna lose. This is not a war. This is not a war. It's a demonstration of power. I will? But would the Emperor allow this, right? That's gonna be the very interesting thing. And that's the episode! We're finally back beyond the gate and this so-called vacation. It's kind of interesting, you know? More politics to see what happens beyond the gate on Earth, right? To see, like, how is the other nations kind of approaching this, right? Because at the end of the day, they want the gate for themselves. Because, you know, it's vast resources, you know? And think about, like, oil. Who wants the fucking oil? You gotta fucking get the gate to control the oil. And if Japan has the only access, we don't want that. America, Russia, China basically just wants that. Kind of also funny how Kuribai should just straight up discreetly just like shit on the world leaders right on national tv while saying hi to mom that was a pretty fun moment there's some stuff going on with riza and itami i'm not sure if this is going to be further developed on you know how they started off the marriage in the wrong foot divorced and maybe she's trying to make a comeback but like with the existence of these isekai girls i really wonder how that's gonna fucking work and that's it we're back beyond the gate and now it's all up to rory mercury sorry uh pina to basically go back to the emperor and convince him that hey the more you fight the more we will lose. But the Emperor, I think, understands that. And he's a fucking schemer. I bet this is still going all according to his plan. What is his end game? I don't know. Cut out all the fucking, you know, other uh, nobles beneath him that could, you know, potentially, you know, have a revolt. And then sell the kingdom out? Is that... Is he just looking for an exit plan? I don't fucking know. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.